Hi YouTube, Apostle Stacy here and I am here to actually this time do a video about women's clergy garments because I was asked by a viewer and by the way I want to thank you all the viewers, subscribers, those of you all who watch this channel regularly and comment and those of you all drop these wonderful emails in my inbox. I want to thank you for watching. But anyway, I was uh, asked this question by Minister Angie and uh, she writes, Greetings Apostle Stacy. I absolutely, I absolutely, I absolutely, <laughs> I absolutely adore your channel. Well, thank you, Minister Angie. She said, I recently accepted my calling in the ministry to preach the gospel of Christ. <laughs> Congratulations to you. She says, Glory. I noticed that you wear some beautiful ministry robes, and I've been looking for some in my area, but I can't seem to find one that I like. Can you email me the website you go on? To find your ministry roles, yours in Christ, Minister Angie. Well, Minister Angie, thank you so much for asking me this question. And let me say this: I have re I tried to record a video before it didn't work. Then I also tried to write you before recording the video, and I had a long email, honey, with all the links and everything, with my review of their product and everything. I had that reviewed and ready for you, and I was gonna press send, and made a mistake and push the. Uh, pushed the wrong button and it forwarded my uh, uh, browser to go uh, to another page and lost a whole email. So you know what I said? You know what I'll do? I'll just make a video and because uh, I'm sure more than Minister Angie wants to know this. In fact, I find myself all the time giving my fellow women ministers tips on uh, clergy garments and how to uh, uh, how and where to buy and shop for the garments that we so desperately need because women in ministry we have special needs okay we're 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 not just able to just kind of go anywhere and get a role because a lot of people still number one um don't really supply women in ministry with the appropriate garments that we need they think that they can take a man's role and switch the buttons around um and, and put some uh, material, on, a little bit more material on it, you know, on the little cup, and they think that's a woman's role. But, honey, we got hips and curves and all kinds of stuff that we have to accommodate that men don't always have to think about. So we do have special needs to cut in the design, and if you're like me, I hear all that noise. That's my turtle moving around, honey. One day I maybe say, I think I have a video on here about my turtle trace. And she don't like to make a lot of noise, but for some reason, she has been extra active today. Y'all pray for Tracy, okay? Mm -hmm. Tracy the turn. Anyway, back to the video. Um, You know, our needs are different. I don't like to preach that look like a box when I'm preaching. I want some curves, you know, some curves and to accentuate my femininity. I'm not trying to look like a man in the pulpit. Okay, so our garment needs are a little bit different from men's. And many times um, you'll find that people that um, supply clergy, uh, clerical garments, they really don't take those special needs in account. Now, so I'm here to not only offer you the site or, or offer you who makes my robes or where I purchase my clerical garments from, but I'm also here to kind of give a little bit of review, a little overview, uh, and uh, preferably that'll be a help to not just you, Minister Angie, but to all my wonderful, beautiful preaching women of the gospel. First, I want to say how important it is for us as women of God to represent our ministry with class and with dignity. We already have a hard enough time preaching the gospel as it is. It's still a whole heap of folk who don't even believe we're supposed to have any kind of place in the pulpit whatsoever. And despite of how God uses us, in spite of the various examples in the word of the Lord of, of women being used in the Bible to bring forth the gospel message. You still have folk who are stuck in the mud, honey. Stuck in whatever they stuck in, the tradition or what have you, bias or whatever, their misogynistic attitudes and whatever, honey. So we already have to go through a lot to minister the gospel as women of God. And then if you're called by God as a woman of God, Again, you have to worry about stuff men don't have to worry about. We got to make sure our grace and our mercy is secure while we jumping and running and dancing and hopping and diving on the floor to pray for folk. And you know how we do. You know how, how, you know how we act up when we're in church. Huh? You know we don't have no good sense. And the North and take over. And then we just flying everywhere. We want to make sure 
that our temples are safe and secure from all alarms <laughs> when we up there preaching, okay? So preaching women of God, you know, we have a little extra challenges sometimes, but we can work with it. And you can celebrate your femininity. You can celebrate being a woman while you preach and while you minister. So again, without further ado, I just kind of want to give you a few um, places that I have purchased garments from. Um, a lot of people are local and then there are some national people. Um, so I'm going to give you a review and not just from my experiences but also from my sisters in the ministry who have purchased garments from these particular vendors and have found them to work for them as they minister. Okay, so the first site I'm going to tell you is the Cadillac of preaching robes. Minister Angie, I mean these robes are beautiful. You're going to need a couple of hundred dollars now. I'm just going to prepare you. But I do believe that it's worth the investment. Okay. Bride of Christ robes. And you can find Bride of Christ robes at brideofchrist.com. I do believe is their site. Let me double check myself. Yes. Brideofchristrobes.com. Brideofchristrobes.com. All oh, their robes are beautiful. They have a... Now, this site... Is the that I know of one of the only exclusive sites for women in ministry. So number one, let me say thank you to Bride of Christ Rose for recognizing the need for clerical garments for women in the gospel. They have beautiful robes. You can get anything from a plain cassock. You know, which is the straight preaching garment with the buttons down the front and the mandarin collar. So you can either insert a tab or wear your collar underneath. They have that all the way to those rows with, with the rhinestone trimming, honey, and those beautiful flare bell sleeves that we love. And ah, uh, go check Bridal Christ robes out. They even have two-piece preaching garments, uh, like the preaching suit. So if you prefer preaching in a suit, but you don't really want to mess up your uh, other suit, but you just kind of want to have a like a suit, they even have that too. So go check out Bride of Christ Rose, okay? Then there's also a, a, a site, now I have not personally ordered from this site, but it's www.womenspirit.com and I have to give them a shout out because they also have a robe line that is exclusive for women. And I was checking out this cute little preaching dress they have on there. Really, really feminine that you can order from. Now, they only go to a size 20. So, to the people at womenspirit.com, honey, we need to go up a little higher. Mm -hmm. So, some of us have a little bit more grace and mercy than others, and we need a little bit more coverage. But, no, anyway, you can go there and you can order um, robes and albs. You can order uh, cassocks. You can order clerical shirts and accessories. You can order um, just any kind of little clerical accessories accessories that you think you would need. They even have the roll bags and the, you know, the, the, the blouses that are made for women. And you can get that custom fit for you if you just give them your measurements. So go check them out again. I never ordered from Women's Spirit, but the reason why I'm giving them a shout out is because they, they have a site that is dedicated for women, exclusively for women in ministry. So thank you. Thank you, Women's Spirit. Thank you for recognizing the need for women to have their own business. Okay, another company that I have been blessed to receive a role from is the National Road Company. And they're out of Greensboro, North Carolina. They do have a website and I do actually own a National Road Company role and also a um, clergy dickey. Um, and the dickey is kind of, it's not a full shirt but you can, it has a little Velcro closure. You can put it on. If you ever seen in that red uh, um, red Apostle collar. I got that. I was blessed with that from National Road Company. I was blessed with a gift. Somebody was so sweet. They thought about me. Sent me a roll from National Road Company. They're a little pricey now. But I can promise you that roll preaches with me and it goes with me where I go. If I want to bend back and bend back with me. <laughs> it flows with me in other words and I'm not constrained or restricted in my movement when I wear that robe and it holds up wonderfully. I've had it clean a number of times and it still looks like brand new. So check them out at the National Robe Company and I have 
a role from them personally. Another site I want to give you is uh, from CM Almy, and you can go there from www.almy.com or almy.com, however you pronounce it, and they do have a section that's dedicated for women investment. So you can go there and get your stoles, you can go there and get your um, your cassocks or albs, whatever it is that you need. They have um, um, accessories as well, collars. Um, and I ordered from CM I mean, if you have like something that you just really need a rush order on, you can you I, I would say I've I've had a rush and they got it to me right then when I needed it before my deadline and I thought that was excellent. And even even if you have any questions, if you call up in their business hours, you can actually speak to someone live. And you know in this day and age, that's rare. So CM Army, I do recommend them, and I do have some products from CM Army. I actually purchased a cross. Um, from CM Army, um, and it came like I said, and it was beautiful. It is held up, wonderful uh, quality. Um, the pectoral cross that we wear, you know, along with our garments, I got mine from CM Army, and, and they do wonderfully. Okay, they're affordable as well. Their prices are affordable, so check those uh, CM Army out. Now I gotta say Murphy, gotta say MurphyRobe.com. Why? Because Murphy has been there. Now I do admit some of their robes um, are a little bit traditional. They may not kind of fit you if you're the type of person like I am that likes that one of a kind look. However, you if you need a quick ship robe, if you need something to get to you real quickly, you can. Uh, and Murphy Robe normally has a good quality of a robe as well. Now you're gonna need a couple of hundred dollars for Murphy as well depending on, you know, the style of robe that you get. But they have actually improved on some of their designs and kind of come up to the 21st century on some of their uh, designs as well. So check out MercerRobes.com and um, there, there are a couple of designs on there that I like. And of course, yes, we used to order from Murphy years back. I mean, Murphy has just kind of been there. Uh, but some of their designs, in my humble opinion, uh, could use a little bit of dating. But again, that's my humble opinion. But however, this is what you can do with a Murphy robe or with any cassock that you order and it's plain. If you want to take a cassock and you want to kind of customize it to fit your personal taste, you can get a plain cassock. That, and that's that, you know, that basic garment. But now, man, we're calling it. You can get a plain cassock and then you can go and purchase uh, your ecclesiastical um, vestment brocade. You can go and purchase that from uh, another site, and, and you can just Google um, these sites, these websites, and view their ecclesiastical brocade. You can order it by the yard in most places. I know at CM Almy, you can order uh, brocade material from them, um, but you can go and get that, and then when you get that from the yard, you can take that to your seamstress, and your seamstress can add the embellishments that you want to fit your personal taste if you cannot find something that fits you. Then you can take it over to the monogram in place and get your clergy logo or your initials or even um, a cross or whatever, a dove, friend hands, embroidered into the garment to kind of make it fit you. And you can also do that with your suit. If you just have a plain black suit, you can find a, a local seamstress, get your uh, brocade material, and that's that material, pretty material with those crosses and stuff woven into the actual material. You can take that, okay, and take it to your seamstress and get her or him to add the cuffs that you want. If you like the French cuffs, you like the bell sleeves, or you can do the same thing with the yoke of your uh, collar or, or on your lapel, even uh, to trim the uh, hem, okay, of your garment. So that's a, a little idea that I want to pass on to you as well, okay? And you can get uh, ecclesiastical fabric and brocade. Well, you can get it for like $16.99 a yard, but you don't need that much. You don't need that much because you're only, you know, accenting uh, the garment that you already have. So uh, that's, a, that's a few suggestions that I have for you concerning that. There's also garmentofpraise.com, and they're a local uh, role um, best, uh, vendor. Or when they do have a women's line, okay, there is a, a site that's called Clergy Culture or Clergy Couture, okay, dot com, Clergy Couture dot com, and they have women's uh, vestments as well. A little pricey, if you ask me, but hey, again, I, I personally believe that your preaching garment is worth the investment, but we're not always able 
to lay, you know, 800 and, 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 and you know. But if you're able to do it, God bless you. Okay? Go check them out at um, that site. I never order anything from them personally. However, it won't hurt for you to just look and just talk it over. Now, I went on um, eBay. And there is a woman of God on eBay that uh, does custom women's clergy robes. And I've seen some of her designs and they look really nice. So look that up on eBay. Just just put in your search engine custom women clergy robes. Okay. On eBay. Again, I've never ordered from her, but her designs look beautiful. I'm sure she has a phone number and everything. And I'm going to try to put all the information in the description box of this video. So you can go back and you know click on the links or look up or Google these links, okay? Um, the Rollshot.com. That's another place where you can get custom women's um, garments, okay? Um, and they have a few. I'll say that they have a few. They don't have a huge um, stock, but they have a few. Now, in my in my opinion, in my experience, you never ever really find. A, a, a role section for women that's as big as a section for men and that's the focus still you know coming to realize that we need roles I suppose I don't know however um, there are a number of people out there that can uh, give you a design that you need a local designer uh, that was in Birmingham Alabama is called Ashford and I'll put their number and their address they don't have a website it's a local designer but they have been in business for a year and myself along with a whole lot of other women preachers have gotten robes from Ashford. And the robe that I got from Ashford is about seven years seven, eight years old now. And that robe is still like brand new. It has held up. Okay, um, so I recommend them they use their they use quality um fabric. You wanna look them up. I've also gotten products from Coke Berry Clergy. They have a catalog. You can look in there and, and, and just kind of see, you know, um, if, if there's something that can fit your case, okay? So those are a few suggestions, woman of God. If you know someone who sews or who makes women, oh, got to give my woman of God a shout out. We call her Lady Z. And she is a professional seamstress. And she is currently making, um, a garment for me. So I'm going to put her information on the bottom. I like to get myself custom made. I like to get custom. I don't like to look like anybody else. That's my personal, you know, thing. However, you know, if you have the money to invest in a quality garment for yourself, I suggest you, you know, check out any one of these people and they'll be able to help you, okay? Um, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to look um, appropriately dressed in the pulpit. So I've given you some sites and preferably you can find something that is in your range, in your price range, in your budget. Um, you know, so I pr again, Google. Google women's clergy roles. Google, um, you know, all these things and you know, that'll help you. Okay? Alrighty. I pray that you uh, enjoyed the video. I pray that you're enjoying Jesus and all his doing. And thank you for making ministry possible. God bless you. And God bless you to all my beautiful preaching women sisters.